I'm going to show you how to export LUTs from any photo. What is going on YouTube? My name is Mo and welcome to Mo Day's Tips. Now if you'd like to learn all about car photography and Photoshop and a bit of Lightroom, then go ahead and subscribe now and ring the bell so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff that I create every week. Now this is a newly released segment dedicated to you of course in addition to my weekly car photography tutorials that I release every Sunday. So if you'd like to learn anything beyond just car photography, like the basics of Photoshop and Lightroom or anything else, please go ahead, let me know what you would like to learn. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. So I came across this very nifty tool that allows you to export LUTs in a more of a controlled way. We're going to see that in a bit. But it allows you to export LUTs literally from any photo or even video by just taking a still out of that video. How cool is that? Now it's worth to mention that I did reach out to the guys behind the tool and ask them for a free copy to give it a try. And if I was happy with the tool, I'll then make this video. I'll leave a link to the tool in the description below. All right, let's check it out. Now before showing you the tool, let me show you what it does. This is a photo that I took a while back of the McLaren. And uh, what I was able to do is extract a lot from the Mad Max movie by capturing a still from the movie, importing it into that tool, and then exporting a lot that I can use in any application. In this case, I'm using it in Photoshop. So this is the photo without the grade, and this is the photo after applying the grade. It's crazy. All right, let me show you the tool. All right, so once you download and run the app or the tool, you'll get this interface. Now you'll see two main sections. One is the source and one is the target. So let's load something in the target. And um, that's going to be one of my photos. So I'm going to basically select this photo. And this is uh, my wife and I during the honeymoon in Barcelona. Yeah, I looked a bit different. And now we're going to load a source. A source could be any photo that you really love the color grading in it. Say maybe from other photographers or a still capture from a movie or anything that you have in mind. The possibilities with this tool is endless. All right, so I'm going to load a photo in the source and it's going to be the World War Z still. Now notice that the minute that we selected the source, it applied it to the target. Now bear in mind, it won't apply the effect directly on the target. This is just for our reference. We can later on export LUTs and use them in any application or software. Now, if you'd like to know more about LUTs, I have a video about color grading using LUTs in Adobe Photoshop. I'll leave a link to the video in the description below. Now, once we've loaded both photos, we have a bunch of controls on the right that allows us to control the look further. So I'm going to walk you through the different controls. Now, what the color tint is, is actually the colors being extracted from the source photo and applied into the target. Now you can select the range from light, medium, and heavy. Let's put it somewhere the light, around there. Now, if you don't like how the skin tones looks like in the photo, you have almost three controls to fix this. The first one is to exclude the skin tones from the tint color. The tint color being this. But it's not really doing a great job in this example. So I'm going to skip it. What I'm going to basically select is protect the skin tones. And that gives me this flexibility and protecting certain range of the skin tones and the photo. So I'm gonna keep it around here. Now what you could additionally do is boost the skin tones like so. I'm just gonna keep it here. You can see the before and after by clicking this icon over here. So let's see the before. This is the after so far. The next control is an option to protect the contrast in the photo. If I enable this, 
see the before and after. It protected the contrast in the target photo. I'll dial this down a bit. Let's see the before and this is the after. Now there are two additional controls that would allow you to one, protect saturated colors. So any color that is saturated, you can ask the tool to protect it if you'd like to protect it. If not, you can leave it as it is. And then there is the one color look. Now this tool handles and applies the color across the entire color range within this photo. So the reds, the green, the blues, they all get a different kind of treatment within their color space. But if you want to apply just one color look across all the colors, you can do that by just clicking this. And there you go. So let's have a look at the before. Let's have a look at the after. That's pretty amazing. Let me just protect the contrast even more and maybe add more of the color tint. And uh, now I think I'm just going to keep it as it is. Now you can view the export options by clicking this icon at the top and you have different formats in which you can export to. So let's select this. So I'm going to export LUT and apply it into Photoshop. I've done that already. All right, let's move into Photoshop. All right, so now that we have the photo in Photoshop, I'm going to create an adjustment layer. I'm going to click the color lookup and I'm going to load that LUT. And I'm going to select the cube and there you go. It applied the look instantly. Now you can control the LUT, like I said, with the opacity. Or if you think it's not as strong, then you can duplicate it like so or even continue grading on top of it. So I'm going to create a curve. I'm just going to add a bit of contrast, like so. I think this is a bit too much, but that's fine for this example. I'm going to raise the shadows. All right, let me drop the opacity down, like so. Like I said, you can take it further. I'm going to add a selective color, and I'm going to target the yellows, and so on forth. Now, I really recommend that you have a look at their tutorial. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. All right, let's have a look at the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. All right, YouTube, we're done. Now, I really do recommend that you head over to the link in the description below. Have a look at their tutorial before perhaps buying the tool or the software. Now, don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to this awesome channel and I'll see you in the next video.